It was a big week for Nebraska Kearney, and we bring out the primetime five for NAIA football. That and more today on Midwest Sports Now. It's a great time to be a Lopers fan. The number three volleyball team remains undefeated at 20-0, and 0, picking up three sweeps this week over Missouri Southern, Pitt State, and even number four rival Washburn. UNK continues to roll through the schedule and is well on its way toward another MIAA regular season conference title. The football team for Nebraska Kearney also picked up a big win at home this Saturday over number seven and formerly undefeated Northwest Missouri. The Lopers took advantage of Bearcat turnovers and went up 21-0 early and were able to hold on for a 24-17 win. Quarterback T.J. Davis rushed for 115 yards and a touchdown. This marked the first time for Northwest Missouri to have an opponent rush for at least 100 yards in nearly five years. The Lopers are now 5-2, and two, and they stopped a personal seven-game losing streak to Northwest Missouri. Northwestern Iowa with another five-set win on Saturday. That's the second time that this has happened this week. On Wednesday, Northwestern got the five-set victory over number 22 Dort. And on Saturday, it was on the road at Midland against the number eight Warriors, a five-set win as well. Tomorrow, Northwestern will take on number 11, Jamestown, on the road. And Northwestern, the Red Raiders are now 21-0 and on the year and I think certainly the number one team in the NAIA poll, which should come out next week. And the Friends women's soccer team picked up a 5-0 win at home against Sterling. They move to 11-2 overall and 8-0 in KCAC play. This marks the best start in conference play history for the Friends women's soccer program. Giselle Gonzalez had two goals in a seven-minute span in the victory over Sterling for Friends. And now we go to the primetime five for today, and it has to do with NAI football from this past Saturday. The number five spot, Missouri Baptist's Isaiah King. Well, the Spartans lost to St. Xavier 45-34, but King had seven receptions for 241 yards and three touchdown catches on Saturday. Number four, Baker with a 49-20 win. Over Mid-American Nazarene, Nigel Graves-Houston with nine carries for 148 yards and three rushing touchdowns on the day. The number three spot sees William Penn's Ben Sherman and Tommy Embu each picking up more than 100 yards rushing in a 53-24 win over Graceland on Saturday. Sherman had 14 carries for 183 yards and two touchdowns, while Embu had 13 carries for 116 yards and three touchdowns on the day to our number two spot, and it's Clark. The Pride pick up the first victory in program history. It was an 18-17 win over Peru State. 18-17 was also the halftime score of this game. Neither team scored in the second half. The Pride scored three touchdowns on the day, went for two three times, and came up short All three times. It didn't matter. They got the victory anyway. 18-17 over Peru State. Kenyon Williams passed to Riley Lankford for what proved to be the game-winning touchdown late in the first half. And our number one spot this week is reserved for Evangel. The Crusaders get a big win over Hart preseason favorite Benedictine. The Crusaders, now 6-1 on the season, get the win 35-21. Cameron Hardesty with four touchdown passes on the day, two to Sam Buckner and two to Jordan or Jensen Acklin. But we're going to concentrate now on the defense. It was the defensive effort by the Crusaders, which was led by Sam Morton, who had five and a half tackles for loss, three of which were sacks. The defense combined for 14 and a half tackles for loss, seven of which were sacks. It was a great defensive effort on the day and a great overall effort on the day for Evangel in our number one spot in the primetime five here on Midwest Sports Now. Thanks for watching. I'm Joey McWilliams, and I just encourage you to like and share and subscribe to this channel. We want to continue doing this and to do it well for this Midwest sports area. In the meantime, God bless you, and have a great day.